Hey guys, what's up there? It's Chris Blade Johnson and today I'm going to teach you the solo from a song called Uncle Tom's Cabin by Warren. Well, this is one of those songs, you know, when people come and ask you, dude, what is 80s heavy metal like? You know, it's just, you want to know about the solos, they want to know about the, the style of it, and you just tell them, do listen to Uncle Tom's Cabin, and they instantly will know what you were talking about. Hang in, man, and we're gonna check it out. All right. Basically, we're half step down tuning, so I'm in E flat here. So um, the first section, so basically we're starting uh, with a full step bend on the A fret of the B string. Then I'm going to play this little lick, which is section 1A. Okay, so I'm starting with the upstroke on a 5th fret of the high E string. Then do a downstroke on the A fret of the B string and a pull off to 5. And again a downstroke on the A fret of the G string. Looks like this. Okay, section 1B. I'm going back to the B string and play an upstroke on a 5th fret. Then a downstroke on the A fret of the G string. Do a pull off to 7 and a pull off to 5. And again a downstroke on the 7th fret of the D string. Then I'm gonna roll my finger, my 4th finger, and play the 7th fret of the G string. Okay, so slowly it looks like this. Okay. That was section 1B. Section 1C. I'm actually playing 5 with downstroke on the G string. Do a hammer on to 6. Then go to the D string and play 7, pull off to 5. Again, starting with downstroke, then go to the A string and play 7, 5. You could rather do a pull off or a pick it. I just prefer to pick it. It sounds more and feels more natural to me. Now I'm just gonna repeat everything together and play slowly so you get a kind of idea how it looks like. Okay, section 2A, starting actually on the D string with downstroke on the fifth fret. Then do a hammer on to seven and a pull off back to five. And again a pull off to the open uh, D string. And then again five on a D and a hammer on to seven. So together it looks like that. Um, you could just add one extra pick to make it sound a bit louder, so... Then you go to G string, play 5, hammer on to 7. And then chromatically play those uh, notes. So, 5, 6, 7. Together. Section 2B. Is basically starting like that. So I'm starting again with a downstroke on the 10th fret of the E string to a pull off to 8. Go to the B string and do this exact same thing. So 10 pull off to 8. But I slide now to the 5th fret of the B string. So. Okay, so 1. So, and after that slide, I go to the G string and play 8, pull off to 7, pull off to 5. And then again, go back to the B string and do um, just a very huge vibrato on the A fret. So, you know, so...
starting section 3A um, with this lick. So it's on the low E string, 3, then 5, and go to the A string and 3. And you see I'm kind of pushing down and, and kind of do that tiny bend. It's not a half step bend, it's just going um, to the next note, so kind of kind of adding a tension. And it's not like, it's just very slow, you know. Just try to, to uh, play around with the feelings. And I'm trying to add some kind of pinch harmonic feeling, so... And I'm, I'm muting really hard, so I pick down, up, down. Okay. Uh, then we do the complete identical thing on the fifth fret of the A string. So five, seven, and then go to the D string and play five. And then uh, from D string, five, seven, and to the G string. And then release the tension on the seventh fret of the D string. Okay, so. Now, uh, section 3B is basically that. Pretty simple. So, uh, I guess he's using uh, Floyd Rose tremolo to do that. But you can do it without a tremolo as well. But, you know, um, so basically what I do here is playing uh, 7 on the G string and 8 on the B string and kind of do bend that, so just bending my, uh, just bending on the G string and just keep, uh, uh, stay quiet with the pin case, so and then just shift one fret and do the same thing, so 6 on the G and 7 on the B and then uh, release that and play 5 on the G and 5 on the B and add lots of vibrato. It's very important. So, okay, uh, and then comes this really easy part. Just chromatically going downwards, starting on the A string. So five, four, three, and on the low E string, five, four, three. And I just like to play some kind of mix between regular and pinch harmonics. It's just I, I don't actually alternate pick. I just do straight down picks to make it sound more aggressive. Alright, now the last section is section 4, obviously. It's basically, um, again, um, quite easy to do, but rhythmically a bit tricky. Okay, we're starting with those bends on the 17th fret of the B string. And what I do is, is I kind of do a bit more in a full step bend. It feels just more going out of that box and just try to be crazy, you know, just just make it sound very aggressive and, and but still controlled. So it's, it's more going even just more than a full step bend okay but just don't try to go too much you know it should it still sh should sound very natural but I do bend that and when I release the bend I go quickly up again so it's like going a bend go back and then do a very huge vibrato that's how I how I play it and how I feel it. So it's not like, you know, it sounds stupid. Just try to to make it feel, to make it sound natural. So it's like a big vibrato. Um, and then go to the E string and do quite the same thing. So I'm again starting on 17th fret of the high string and do a really huge bend. But this time I just do a two step, just a full step bend, so the 17 to 19 fret of the E string. So release it and go back again. And now I tap. 
an extra note. So I'm tapping the 20th fret of the high string. So. Okay, what I do, I change uh, by holding the pick with my index finger to my middle finger. So, I'd be, so I'm able to, to tap with my index finger, but you can do it with the middle finger again, or as well, sorry, but uh, I just think it's more smooth when you do it with the index finger, just like that more. Uh, that was section 4A, now section 4B, and uh, I'm starting on the low E string, play 10, Hammer on to 12, go to the A string, play 10, hammer on to 12 and slide to 14, so... Okay, so I'm sliding one full step, so... To the fourth fret of the A string, okay, so... And now I do that lick, just double pick that. Okay, it's pretty simple. I just basically play a regular E minor pentatonic scale, but I double pick the first note, so. Okay, so uh, on the D string, I pick the 12th fret twice. Just alternate, down, up, okay? And then I do a hammer on to the full and fret. Go to the G string and do the exact same thing. Twice, just pick uh, the 12th fret twice a time and hammer on to 14. So then go to the B string and it's exactly the same thing. So uh, picking the 12th fret, the B string twice a time and hammer on to 15. Okay, so it looks like that. Uh, and now section 4C is gonna look like that. Starting on with an upstroke on the high E string, 12th fret. Go to the B string, tw play 15, Pull off to 12. And I'm doing a downstroke, so up, down. And again a downstroke uh, on the 15th fret of the G string. Pull off to 14, pull off to 12. And again a hammer on 14, 15, okay? So. I mean, you could as well pick a bit more, so. Okay, so when you go back again, instead of making hammer-ons, you could just pick those. So 14 and 15, okay? I would do that. I, I think I did that on the cover. So, and then you play, uh, again, go back to the B string and play 12, and a hammer-on to 15. And then you play, okay, so on the high E string, 12, 14, 15, and bend to the 17th fret. And yeah, that's basically the difficult part. Then you bend uh, on the 14th fret, half step. And then on the B string, the fifth and fret again a full step bend. Okay, that was section four. A quite a bit complicating, but I hope it works for you. Okay, that was the full lesson. Uh, it's a great song. It's a great solo, it's very melodic. It's quite short, but it's cool. It's not too difficult. I think it's it's just uh, standard 80s heavy metal, classic rock kind of solo. So you see the standard at the A's were quite high. Uh, it's really cool, it's just nice. I just love that one. It's, it's a lot of fun to play, it. it's just a lot of fun. So I hope you guys getting it all done. If you got any questions, please feel free to ask me and uh, see you the next time.